Welcome back. In a couple of previous videos, I showed how this Force One insulation blowing machine was only putting out 2.3 PSI. That's not strong enough for a good dense pack. So we're going to try to upgrade the blower to this more powerful one, and then we'll retest it and see if we can get a good dense pack out of it. First thing I'd like to do is see how many amps this blower draws. So let's turn the blower on. So check out the size difference between these two blowers. Quite a big difference between them. Okay, I've got it wired in and let's just see what the amps are on this one. If the blower is drawing just under 11 amps by itself, uh, let's find out what this big motor draws by itself. 7.3. So now we can move on to uh, just how to actually fit the blower in uh, because it does take up more space so I can't hook it up directly. I might be able to fit it in here with a little bit of an elbow. I bolted this steel bracket down to the base there are the bolts. I'm using a 45 degree elbow schedule 40 PVC. This is a one and a half inch uh, size and I put it in the oven uh, for 20 minutes at 375 degrees in order to soften it up and that's also why I'm wearing oven mitts uh, in order to keep protect my hands from this. And I'm forcing it over the, uh, the airlock fitting and then gonna fit the blower in. Well got the blower in there and everything's wired up. A uh, little piece of mesh. This is like a Merv 1 pre-filter. It's, it's sold for furnaces as a pre-filter. I'm just slipping it in here and now I'm gonna zip tie this off. Let's see what kind of pressure we can get with this new blower. Oh excellent. So that's all the way up at 4. 4 psi now. Elena's holding this multimeter for me. I'm outside and I'm turning the machine on, both the agitator and blower, and putting it under load to get the full amp reading. All right, we're gonna try to dense pack the same container as my last video. If you remember, we couldn't quite get a proper dense pack in this container with the old blower. There just wasn't enough oomph in that machine. Uh, so hopefully with the new blower, we do have enough power, enough pressure. Uh, the PSI coming out of that thing is definitely enough. Uh, so again, when you're gonna calculate uh, how much cellulose you need for, for doing a wall or an attic, you uh, find out what the volume is in cubic feet. In this case, we have just under two cubic feet. And then you multiply that by the density you're going for. Uh, three and a half pounds per cubic foot is great for walls. Uh, if you have very deep cavities, say 2x10s, 2x12s, or anything like double stud construction, you want to bump that up to, say, 4 pounds per cubic foot. In this case, we need 6.7 pounds of cellulose, and you divide it by the bag weight. In this case, the bag weight is 25 pounds, but be careful, it'll vary by manufacturer. And we need uh, just over a quarter of a bag. Now, luckily, when you do additions uh, or whole large buildings, you're going to be uh, working with much larger numbers. It's difficult to calculate a fraction of a bag in the field. <laughs> so, uh, you know, because how much is left in the hopper, how much is in the hose. But luckily when you're doing large spaces, you're working with large numbers of bags in whole numbers and you round them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try to dense pack this guy. I would definitely be wearing a mask if I was doing this inside.
feels pretty good. Yeah, so that, that's way more solid than before. So let's uh, let's take this apart. This feels like a good dense pack now. I don't know. If, it's probably not going to show up on the screen, but it's it's packed in there pretty good. See, that's that's way more solid than before. Let's see if I can dump this out so we can take a closer look at it. And uh, it was just packed in there so tight I couldn't shake it out. Uh, but that was uh, definitely, but that was definitely much firmer than before. And so let's uh, let's see how much farther this can shoot uh, with the higher velocity blower.